As the staff at the Stevenson Companion Animal Life Care Center will tell you, there's really no place like this one in the country. And no, it's not just because a Reveille resides here. I think it certainly added credibility to our program. And it's also not just because of the pet llama out back. Rusty was one of the 13 pets of Madeline Stevenson, one of the major donors that made the center that bears her name possible. It's really a home for people's companion animals when they can no longer take care of them. After Sonny Presno retired from the vet clinic he founded in Bryan, he became the director of this center. When owners pay an enrollment fee and set up an endowment fund, their pets are turned over to the caring hands in this arm of A&M's vet school. The connotation of retirement home has kind of grown on it, and I guess uh, in a way they are, but they're certainly not all older animals when they come here. We get them at all, all ages. And from all places, only a handful are from A&M former students. Patty's owner is a UT grad. A couple of residents are from California. In all, Stevenson is home to 16 dogs, 19 cats, and Rusty. Since 1993, 77 animals have lived their last days here, and more than 500 are on the list to come here eventually. Maybe when an owner can't take care of them anymore, or maybe when they pass on. All of these animals make it fun. I mean, it can't be an unhappy place if you come home and you're greeted by 17 wagging tails. Aggie students like Hannah Huff work and in some cases live at Stevenson. Most are future veterinarians, like Sam McDonald, who helps feed and care for all the animals, including one of the most recent residents. It's interesting getting to see the school's mascot uh, just day to day, you know, walking around, playing with her. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> Ladylike. Reveille's room is fit for a first lady. She's got some room to run and fetch out back. She's turned into a greeter at Stevenson. And she's befriended Happy. When the Chihuahua was sick recently, Rev stayed by Happy's side through it all. Yes, you're a good dog. Longtime Stevenson caretaker Kim Muth thinks Aggies should be pleased with Rev's new digs. I think that they would really enjoy seeing her here and know that, you know, she's being very well taken care of. And as fellow caretaker Travis Dittmar notes, Rev was right at home in a day or two. She fits right in, enjoying her retirement, and it's just, she's just other, another dog to all the other dogs. Not every creature at Stevenson knows how famous one of the residents is, and Reveille 8 doesn't seem to mind at all. Obviously, she's honored here because of, of who she is, but uh, she's treated just like uh, just like cricket is there just just buddies and hang out together. <laughs>